What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today, we're going to do a recap of Digital Daily number four, which came out today. <sighs> These things. I, at this point, I might just start taking the gloves off and really going in because these are getting bad. It, it's sad that it almost feels like a chore to have to scroll through, uh, you know, whether it's an hour game of werewolf, a bunch of just random working out. Uh, we had a double date that took up a large portion of this digital daily. And it's just like, listen, I'm OK with that kind of stuff when we had the feeds. Because even when they were on, right, like you would have two cameras on that, two cameras on something else. So you could switch over and find find an interesting conversation or at any moment you knew something could pop off like that. But when you only have these two and a half hours ish, that's about how long these things are. You're you're limited and they're, you're only getting what they're showing you and they're forcing you to have to watch these fluff pieces and I understand that a majority of the audience is very casual fans right they'll they'll watch the episodes maybe they'll watch some clips here and there but the people who are watching these dailies are your die hard fans the people who love this game for what it is of you know strategy manipulation lies we don't want to see working out we don't want to see cooking we don't want to see double dates we don't want to see this stupid stuff on our screens save that for the episode i guess right and i just don't understand what the real thought process was behind all this because they're not giving us what we want they took away the feeds based off of what they claim to be mental health reasons which the more these things come out, the more I feel like that's BS because they'll give us things like workouts of the girls. We're going, hey, look at these bodies. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're, you're literally putting these these videos out. Oh, because it's girls working out. Is that what we're, we're doing right now? And that's supposed to be good for the mental health of the house guests. I just really it's blowing my mind at this point that this is what they've come to. But after that rant, let me make this kind of short and sweet because there's honestly not too much to go off of here. Um, there's a, there were a few interesting conversations uh, I can kind of go over. Uh, first off, things we know, uh, we already kind of assumed that the veto was going to be used on Anika by Ty. He did. JM went up as the replacement. Uh, we started off with a Santina and Ty conversation about how she's feeling. Uh, and that he would help, you know, do some PR work for her after the move. Um, they did mention about how Dan seems like he might be somebody who might try and break up the boys, but also try and break up the four of us, which she said include Rob, but really like the three of us is what she's more important about. So Zach, uh, Ty and Santina as like a trio. Uh, I did break out a, a Lions chart the other day, and I've updated it to add that trio in. I didn't add the foursome with Rob, because everything I, I can understand so far is Rob and Hope, they're part of, like, that guys group over there, but everything I can see so far is, like, they're, they're just there for numbers. They're not really allies for anyone, uh, necessarily. They're, they're there for the guys to have you know, numbers on their backs, uh, and, and that's about it. Uh, I could see them going sooner than later. Uh, you know, especially if they feel like, oh, you know, someone like, uh, Anika, we can drag to the end. She's not beating us in anything or a Renee. We, we can drag her to the end. She's not beating us in anything. So we can get rid of Rob and, and hope before it's, uh, you know, too late. I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Santina wants JM out. Um, Ty thinks that they're going to have the votes kind of locked in of Ty, Zach, Jonathan, Kuzi, Hope, and Rob. So that's six. That's that's what you would need. Uh, Jonathan and Rob actually ended up having a conversation where they were talking about Vanessa and her being kind of a wild card, uh, saying she wanted to work with Rob, 
but also that she kind of thinks Rob was part of this backdoor plan. Uh, they think that maybe Kuzi, Daniel, and Anika might be votes to keep JM, which we ended up getting a little conversation later, which maybe doesn't think that. Um, apparently Shayna and Rob, they've got their little flirting thing kind of going on. Uh, but Shayna told Rob that, uh, he thinks it was kind of like a shady move putting JM up, uh, from Santina. Uh, like I said, a big portion of these dailies were this double date with Ty and Claudia and then, uh, Hope and Renee. Uh, they had, uh, people dressing up like, uh, waiters. Uh, Shanae, uh, Shanae was, was one of the waiters. Uh, Rob was one of the waiters as well. Uh, I think they had uh, Zach being like the maitre d. I skipped a lot of it. I was just kind of fast forwarding. It was, it was terrible. Uh, <laughs> we then eventually got uh, a convo with JM and Kuzi. JM actually thinks he can get get the numbers. He he's right on what he thinks he needs is he needs to get six people to vote for someone else because a tie doesn't help him. If it ends up being five for him, three and three, well, he's gone. Or if it ends up being five, five, one, then he's still gone because it's a tie. So he needs to get six people and they all need to vote for the same person. He thinks he can get Koozie, Daniel, and Nika, Hope, maybe Jonathan. That last one, he doesn't know what he's going to need. Uh, Koozie kind of tells him that Dan is being seen as a threat as well because of how well he did in Vito. That kind of goes along with uh, apparently Ty was a little uh, paranoid about Dan being good in the veto, which is why Dan was paranoid the other day and and made some of the boys get a little spooked by that and go like, wait a minute, why are you acting so paranoid and thinking Ty's trying to flip the house on you? Like, that's not happening. What are you doing? Uh, so maybe there could be potential that Dan is used as that sacrificial lamb to send uh, you know, him out and they get look like the boys aren't working together at all. It's, it's interesting. Uh, JM was upset that he has to campaign against Dan. Uh, he also was crying, uh, as, uh, he hears, uh, from Koozie that like, Hey, people are saying if anyone can flip the vote at you and, and that, you know, there's a lot of people saying, you know, it might not be the best move to get you out. Like apparently it was two people who said that. So not a lot it's not a lot koozie um eventually uh jm uh talks to claudia and he says like hey like i understand like ty's move and he's like i'm not not that i'm trying to like link you two and she's like that's what i'm worried about i don't want people like linking me and ty together as a as a thing right now um but what was interesting was he said ty told him santina told him to use it santina told jm that ty did it on his own so he's like, that's conflicting information. He believes Ty more. He thinks this was all Santina. Uh, but she's trying to blame Ty a little bit on it. I, I just, <laughs> it, it seems like it's kind of inevitable that uh, JM's going to be going. But again, there is that small chance that uh, Dan could end up being the one to go. Eventually, actually, Kuzi fills Ty in on a lot of this conversation. Uh, and then also fills him in on like people who said they would want to keep JM. Like she's like, uh, said that it was Daniel and Anika. They were out by the gym kind of talking about like, maybe it's not the best move to get him out. Meanwhile, and then end up being, um, later on Anika who says that Dan's pitch wasn't great saying, uh, you know, he's going in there like, you know, oh, you know, there's kind of early to draw lines and make commitments but in the future if there's time to work together we can meanwhile jm's pitch is like i will fight for you i'm here for you so his pitch has been better so far but i just don't know if it's going to really matter if you can get the votes enough uh to stay there was also um a uh jm and santina meeting in the hoh but it was i don't know it, it was a typical Santina meeting from what we've gotten so far. She doesn't give much. Uh, it was basically JM kind of like pitching to her about how he's like, I don't know who you want out. Is it me? If it's a, if it is okay. Uh, but you know, he was trying to clarify some things that had happened earlier. Like apparently Santina and Zach didn't like that. At one point, JM said he'd like to see them in the jury. And they took that as, they he would want them in the jury voting for him 
Meanwhile, JM says like, well, no, I just was saying I'd rather see people like you in the jury, like including myself. And I think what he meant there was like, get to the jury phase of the game. Right. I think that's what he was trying to clarify, but it didn't come off that way. Uh, so, yeah, it just seems like JM has dug himself a big hole here. It's going to take a lot for him to get out. There's an episode tonight. I'm interested to see uh, how the edit compares to uh, these dailies that we're getting. But yeah, uh, BB can you got to step it up. These dailies are are bad. They're really bad. It's it's lazy. It seems like nobody cares about the product that you're putting out. Uh, and yeah, I just, I don't know. Uh, one other thing, there were a couple like, uh, digital, uh, there's not digital, but the, the deleted scenes that they have been putting on the website as well. And, um, one that was kind of weird was Anika and Vanessa were handcuffed and I'm, I'm assuming that was some kind of punishment from the veto competition, but that seems like early for that kind of punishment to happen uh for a big brother game but yeah they had handcuffs on them at one point having a conversation which also should tell you something they were handcuffed for what i would assume have been would have been 24 hours this is the first little clip we've seen in it and it was two minutes long we've had what now four dailies each are about two hours and a half long uh and we've seen two minutes of them handcuffed they were handcuffed for 24 hours. How, how is this the first time we're seeing it? I, it? It's just wild to me that this was the, the wave they've decided to, to handle this. If you, if you can't give us a good chunk of just like, oh, hey, here's an hour of gameplay. You don't need to put the fluff in there. There's no reason for it. We don't want to see it. Just give us an hour of good stuff. And it's not like they're just trying to hide spoilers and, and make us not sure what's going on uh, with the episode. At this point, we all know who won Vito, what, how it was used, why it was used, who the nominees are, who the main target is, who the backup target could be. We know pretty much everything. The only things we're not sure about, like if you look over here, I don't know really where Anika's true loyalties lie. Shanaya, uh, Shanaya uh, Daniel. Uh, uh, Vanessa, Kuzi, uh, they're all kind of little free agents. We're not 100% clear on who's working with who and stuff like that. But I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's a little upsetting, very disappointing. Uh, but what do you guys think? Let me know in those comments down below. I think you guys all know I try and keep things very positive. I try and look for uh, the silver lining in things and uh, try and uh, see the best in everything that uh, we're getting. But this is hard. This is hard to support. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. There's an episode tonight. Again, I, I won't be live here uh, doing a watch along. I will be live for the Thursday episode uh, doing a live reaction uh, to the eviction. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a tough time. It's a tough time to be a, a, a Big Brother fan, especially a Big Brother Canada fan. Because uh, it's ain't great. It's ain't great. Uh, I will see you next time.